Good evening, it's about 5.45 on January 16th, 2017. Uh, this is me and my uh, Jet Cat. It's a Titan, which I guess is a modified P180. Um, just kind of want to show you how I had it set up. I got about four bolts right here. Holding it down. Got my, uh, my three-wire connection going in. And then I also have my uh, data connector down here. Glow plug gives you a little black plastic thing on there, but I took that off. Over here. Got my two fuel valves. One of them is uh, kerosene and the other one is a starting gas. I'm using uh, regular butane for my starting gas. Here's my little uh, IOD board right here. Got the fuel pump. Uh, this is the first time I'm firing it up, so this is my... Uh, my fuel way over here just to keep it isolated in case something catastrophic happens. I uh, got my ballast. These are basically three five gallon uh, buckets filled with water just to kind of hold it down. This table is extremely light without it. I uh, got some C clamps holding the, the board to the table. Uh, right here is where I connect my uh, throttle channel and then over here is the uh, airspeed indicator which is actually powering it so I don't need to have a, a receiver to run this so if I plug in this battery which is the main power battery I'll actually fire up my ECU and everything um, you'll read that in the manual I highly suggest reading the manual but not many people have um, videos on YouTube kind of showing the setup of what they have they just kind of show up firing it up and shutting down but they don't really show you know their system which I was looking for just for fun all this stuff is velcroed to the you know that's screwed down but all this is velcroed to the the board so it's not going to get sucked into the engine uh, this these right here can't get sucked in nothing over here all these wires are secure so uh, before you fire up you always check uh, if you don't have a FOD screen on always check to make sure that you have nothing on here a screw piece of plastic piece of paper anything that you you don't want getting sucked into your engine uh, it's just good practice to always always keep an eye out for that uh, hearing protection is a must when you go to fire it up these get very loud obnoxiously loud I'm doing it in my backyard so I'm gonna see if I get the cops caught on me for making too much noise uh, again it's my first time firing it up I think I may have accidentally fried my board underneath here uh, all my electronics work so I can you know fire it up and you know that's the cooling cycle uh, you push the ignition button and it'll go into the cooling cycle um, to manual, manually cool it uh, cool the engine but um, I'm gonna fire it up here in a little bit just waiting for a friend to get by uh, I do have fire suppression uh, instead of a CO2 extinguisher I'm a welder so I do have some CO2 gas on hand uh, not sure if it's going to be 100% efficient if something happens. Hopefully nothing happens. But uh, I'm going to take a video when I fire it up and hopefully um, it goes off without a hitch. Wish me luck guys. Thanks for watching.